Ahoy there, ye scurvy swashbuckling buccaneers. It is a little uh, rude of me to assume your health status and to assume your nature of swashbuckling. It now suddenly strikes me out of the faint idea what swashbuckling actually means. But never mind, it doesn't matter. I am in a frightful mood because A, it is dreadfully hot today. Not nearly as hot as I imagined it was back in the Caribbean in 1630. Oh, there's another little ship over there. Isn't it? Interesting? It looks a bit like Danielle's ship. Is she here? I have a few words and a few bits of steel for her, if she is. Um, yeah, it's dreadfully hot today, and as soon as I went to start up this uh, recording, my mouse exploded, so I had to run to the shop and buy another one. So, uh, isn't that just joyous? Anyway, we have several things we need to do this week, and I will try to be in a better mood. The first thing we need to do is I need to sell some leather. My good man, I welcome your call and your company. And my leather, I hope, because if I remember correctly, leather is being imported here. No, it clearly isn't, so this was an absolute waste of my time, wasn't it? I seem to remember doing this right at the beginning of the game and thinking that leather was being imported here, and in fact it isn't. Where is Oxbay? No, they are importing leather. They're just paying an absolutely abysmal price for what it. What you see is what we got, right? Yeah, and what I see is is, is, is nothing I like because it's no better than a sharp stick in the eye. Do I have any other rubbish I need to get rid of or can we just get on with life? No, I reckon that's about everything. Yeah, okay, right, sorry. I made a special note of that because when I ended the last episode I suddenly realised there was some leather in the cargo hold and uh, and we really needed to, um, to get rid of it. But never mind. If I remember correctly, there's something in the, in the bottom of here, isn't there? Yes, there is. There's a little pot of money. Which will make up for some of the uh, losses that we've just made. Right then, back to business. The first bit of business that we need to do is sorting out the priest. The mischievous priest. Or possibly the not at all mischievous priest from Greenford. I didn't leave anything under here, did I? No, don't think so. Okie dokie then. Uh, yes, because somebody informed me that it is important to speak to the Greenford Tavern Keeper about his opinion of the... No, she's not here. She must have a cloaking device. Um, yeah, apparently the, 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 the Tavern Keeper in Greenford has something to say about the priest, so I am going to go and have a little chat with him before we go back to Redmond and speak to the uh, the man who gave us the quest in the first place. Because I have a funny feeling that the priest is actually innocent and that his assistant is trying to frame him in order to um, in order to steal his job. Right? That seems to be my sneaking suspicion. And as I've said before, due to playing this game for many years in my childhood, and then not playing it for many years, I, uh, I, I honestly cannot tell you I don't think I've seen you before, who are you? Hello. Nobody of importance. Yeah, this, this Redmond governor I still haven't seen anywhere in the entirety of the world. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I can't tell whether it's uh, whether that impression is just an instinct that I've got. Why am I coming in here? I'm supposed to be going to the tavern. Goodness sake, if there's any place in the world you think I'd be able to go, it's the place of booze I could use a drink at the minute. <laughs> Sorry, I am so hot and I'm so frazzled at the minute. Forgive me, I apologise. Um, yeah, I don't know whether my, my instinct is just an instinct or is in fact a fading memory from the past. Alright. Hey, Governor. Governor, have a wee bit of the old Tom Thumb, eh? Um, a business proposition? It looks like you are wrong about the priest. You are wrong! That person is innocent and all the rumours are unfounded. How do these letters appear then? I think they're fake. I saw the priest's assistant recently talking with a Dutchman named... Named a Dutch name that we're not going to uh, we're not going to attempt to pronounce for the sake of not setting off a war. Everyone knows that besides the many other dubious things that fellow can do, he can also fake documents and handwriting. Hmm. I will try to find the details. In the meantime, you should talk with the waitress. Perhaps she will tell you something important too. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea what you're talking about. Does she have anything further to say? No. All right then. All right then. Where am I going to find this Dutchman exactly? Not by uh, pressing the wrong button, by looking in the quest book. Help the church, yes. He lives here on the island, can forge anyone's handwriting, according to the tavern keeper. He saw them together several days ago. Alright, where am I going to find him exactly? He's not one of the folks here, is he? Me lord? No, you wish to play a game. 
I don't guess you'd like to fix my light while you're at it. You're an officer, not fast about you. You're a smuggler, no pain, no pain. not fast Great about you. Me. And you are just a drunk. Excellent. Alright, so we need to find this, um... We need to find this Dutchman who lives... somewhere. I have no idea where he lives, but I shall find him. The Lone Sharks, I was only good enough. Yes, I, uh, I haven't been to any of the Lone Sharks yet. So the Lone Sharks essentially act a bit like a bank. Um, in fact, they act exactly like a bank, in the sense that you can deposit money there and get an interest rate on it, uh, and you can also borrow money. Oh yes, this is of Jemfrey Bamflide, which is a name I am still absolutely amazed by. But, um... Any other little houses we can go into? Um... No is the answer to that question. You can also borrow money from them, and if I remember correctly, you can borrow it and then refuse to give it back, and then your reputation suffers, uh, but you, you do get to sort of steal money that way, which is, um, is, you will have to admit, effective. Hello, friend, who are you? Aha! I seem to remember bumping into this man before when I was raiding people's homes for thievable stuff. I must speak with you. Really? Well, speak up. I want to know what you and the, uh, and the priest assistant were talking about. Tell me what you and the priest assistant talked about, or else we'll try to be diplomatic. I am sorry, but I do not know what you are talking about. To be blunt, I believe you have so falsified several letters, and I want to know if it is true or not. And what evidence do you have? Opinions are not facts. A very true statement. All these rumours about my past don't give you the right to accuse me now. Calm yourself, your past is none of my concern. I am not judging you, I am only interested in letters. Listen, you can tell me what I want to know in polite conversation or at the tip of my sword. Or the, about both of the barrels of my pistol. You better tell me everything, or else. Again, we'll try to be diplomatic. I already told you and I do not know what you are talking about. Hmm, perhaps I have to use more unpleasant methods. Oh, I don't want to bribe him because I'm so sick of paying people for stuff that they don't deserve to be paid for, but at the same time I don't want to just go around slicing and dicing. You want to offer me money? Yes, if you tell me whether it was you who wrote the letters or not, as soon as you tell me the truth, I'll leave and you won't have any further problems. This is costly 2,000 gold. Oh my giddy. That's exactly the answer I would expect. Oh, uh, fine. This isn't how justice should be brought about, but never mind. You should have guessed I was involved after I agreed to take the money from you. Mm, I wanted to make entirely sure. You be lucky that I am a matey. For a mere bloke might have been worse to you, but I'm going to steal your stuff as compensation. <laughs> I mean, that's only worth like 300 gold, but it's better than nothing. Alright, so we've now got proof that the letters were falsified. So the question is, do we go to the assistant? Or do we go to the um, go to the Redmond priest? It means that Father Gerald is innocent, and his assistant is the one who has caused all of the trouble. Oh, all right. Then. <laughs> all right then. I'm not going to bother going to the assistant because I don't want him to know that the jig is up. I do not wish him to uh, to realise this and to scarper. So I am going to uh, get on my little ship, and which will hopefully become a bigger ship soon enough, and then we will. Um, then we will go to Redmond and we will try to avoid the gaze of the governor. Because I don't think the governor's in a dreadfully good mood with me, given the fact that the Ramirez is dead. And I think he said that if Ramirez doesn't come back alive, neither should I. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I'm not really... But, but hang on, there's a great big there's a great big storm over there that I am going to try and skirt my way around. And it's going to be really rather difficult, particularly if these pirates come up my butt. The pirate's going to come up my... Hang on, I, 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 I do not take those words out of context or change the spelling of that first word. Right, let me see if I can avoid the... It's not going to work, is it? Nah, yeah, it's not going to work. Alright, fine. If we're going to have a battle, we might as well have a battle. There's only one of them. And I do not recognise the type of ship, but I reckon I can have a good go at killing it. So I am going to go for my uh, chain shots. And I am going to move the camera, which is going to be really difficult if I don't pause the game, because I need to pause the game to see the reference point. There we go, mine's better. Right then, let's engage in battle! Which isn't quite what I planned for today, but never mind. Fire! Fire the cannons, ye sea dogs! Ideally, fire the cannons at my flag so that we can get an English one. 
Is there any way of changing my flag in this game? I'm seriously confused why I'm still pretending to be a Frenchman given we're not even trying to be a spy anymore. Why is my ship suddenly going a thousand times slower? Is it just me or has the ship suddenly gone a lot slower? Oh, it's because I'm sailing into the wind. Oh, that's really, really stupid. <laughs> oh dear, now that's a landlubber's mistake. Is it just me? Oh, my cannon's reloading very quickly to die. I don't know. Oh gosh, oh gosh. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I expected to, but then after getting sunk by that corvette or whatever it was that attacked me the other day, I'm perhaps not surprised. Okay, let me bring us in and then we should be able to uh, board relatively quickly. Ouch! Right, come on you. I am having that ship. I don't care what it costs me. Here we are. Oh goodness, they initiated boarding. I didn't even have to do it. Now, let me see if I can fight in this, uh, with this new mouse. Which is going to be a little difficult. It's a very clicky mouse, which I must say I don't like. I, uh, I, I rather wish the mouse was, uh, quieter. But never in my entire life have I found a mouse that doesn't click. If I could, I'd be a highly happy man, because it does rather annoy me to hear the mouse clicking in the, in the recording because of course the clicking gets picked up by the microphone and there ain't nothing I can do about that. So um, I sincerely apologise for the infernal clicking. But never mind, all my crew is dead which isn't great because it's going to be very expensive for me to um, sort that out. But when we go to the tavern and... Uh, I'll just wait for my pistol to reload. When we go to the tavern and get some uh, some fresh crew I'm going to have to confess something rather, uh, rather embarrassing to you. So I uh, look forward to that. What I might try doing in the future is um, is using um, using grapes. Oh, there we are. Only one of our food people died this time. That's much better. I might try using grapes in the future because that kills the crew, which means you probably have to do less of these uh, less of these flaws, which is less opportunity for my crew to die, which is good. Hooray! It was a caravel. I feel like we've probably boarded a caravel before. Um, yeah, I lost half my crew in there. That is pretty darn terrible. Right then. The effectiveness of my light isn't in the slightest. Alright, um... Am I running short on these? Not really, no. You've got some sailcloth, you've got some ebony, you've got some sugar, you've got some fruit and some silk. Goodness, I like that. Ebony is probably good and, uh, good and valuable, and I reckon silk and sugar are as well, so I'm definitely going to have those, assuming that we can carry them. The answer to that question is not really, but, um... There we are. We'll take a few bits and bobs. Obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll sell the stuff before we sell the ship. But um, Good. Now, can I get out of this without crashing into it? Oh, gosh. The answer to that is probably not. So I better just get out of the way immediately. Now, where's Redmond? It's over here. At least that's allowed the storm to pass. So that's good. That caravel really didn't make a good choice by um, choosing to pursue me, did he? <laughs> it was not the smartest decision that he's ever made. But hey-ho. After, um, after spending so long at sea... Nothing but sea biscuits to eat. You perhaps cannot be uh, wholly surprised. I do like that we replaced the sails from the old black sails to um, to, uh, to to lovely clean white ones. But then um, then we don't repair any of the holes in them. Maybe we just dye them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm yammering on about. Anyway, at least that means we can uh, sell it for a bit, which will uh, make up the money that we had to pay to that um, that little thief. Okie dokie then, let me see, what have I got to sell? I need to sell... I'm not going to sell my superstitious nature <laughs> by holding on to one more of these lucky rings, just in case it is uh, actually lucky. And um, so many letters and things. Sell these pearls, and these ones, and also these pots. Here we are. Any, uh, any new items appear? Any new... Ooh, that looks exciting! The needle! This rapier's ability to pierce blocks and armor is exceptional. There is almost no defense against its lightning fast thrusts. We're not going to take any of that out of contact. Right then. Oh, goodness. Hello, you funny faced fellow. The golden mask of an Incan god. He seems like a most cheery fellow. Isn't that lovely? Alright then, let us go to the store first and foremost to sell off this bit of cargo and then we'll go to the shipyard and then we'll go to the tavern and we'll do all the other things we need to do. What can I help you with? Okay, dokey, let's start with selling the cargo. There's several different things we really need to do, because I have to confess that I have gotten a bit behind with some stuff that I was meant to be doing. Um, the sugar doesn't go for a very good price. I should have got fruit. Fruit? Fruit? No, I really ought to look at what they're exporting and importing, shouldn't I? That would be sensible. Where's Redmond? I think this is Redmond. They are importing... They are importing the silk. So it would definitely be worth selling the silk here. 
and I can't sell the ebony. Might be able to sell it to a pirate, however, and then I could show you the smuggling, which could be kind of fun. So we'll try that. Let me try and sell my silk. Twelve. There we are. That's a, that's a fair price. I mean, any price is a fair price, given that I killed somebody for it, but that isn't the point. Um, sugar isn't particularly special, so it, it, who is importing um, sugar? Anybody? The the Spanish. I feel like we do have to go to the Spanish island relatively soon. Ow, because that's where the main quest line is going. So we might hold on to the um, we might hold on to the silk at least. Is anyone importing fruit? I imagine not. I imagine you can grow fruit anywhere in this place. Um, yeah, so if no one's particularly interested in the fruit, we might as well get that now, just for the sake of clearing it out. That was the wrong ship to as click on. I yes, I know They're that you hate the Spanish, but I'm taking my silk to the Spanish, so shush. Let me sell off the fruits, because we're not going to make much of a fuss about that either way, and, um... And we might hold on to the, uh, sugar if I can pop it in my cargo hold. Um, here we are. I can swap things, can't I? Can I? Can I swap things? Can I? Can I move stuff from his ship onto my ship? Can I do that, or am I not capable of doing that? I actually have no idea if I can do that or not. Um, because I can discard it, but I don't know how to move it onto my ship. Never mind. I need to move the camera back, don't I? That would be a sensible thing to do because we're out of the battle now. Never mind. It doesn't matter. We'll um. It doesn't matter, we'll just sell the bloody thing, it doesn't matter. I'm not overly fast, it's only me a couple of hundred gold at the absolute most, so there's no reason to make a song and dance about it. I assure you, Captain, our chain shop can rip the mask off a galleon at a hundred yards! I'm certain it can. Right, let's sell the caravel for 20 grand, because that's a nice uh, nice price to get for it. Any interesting things? Oh, there's that, I've never seen that before. How does that compare with mine? Less manoeuvrable, a little bit faster, otherwise uh, sort of as expected really given that it's a level 3 ship. Okie dokie then, let's not fuss about any of that. What I do want to have a look at is the cannons. I assure you, Captain, yes, fresh guns. So, what have I currently got? Yards. I have no idea. I think I've got a 24 pound culverine at the moment. So, the problem is that there's no information about the... Um, Oh no, you can see the range in the reload, can't you? So if I got, say, some smaller ones, they've got sort of slightly faster reload, but significantly lower range. No, they actually have greater range and lower reload. So why are they cheaper? Presumably because they fire less, uh, less heavy balls. All right, the other option would be to get some cannons, which would, thank you, which have um, slightly faster reload, 260 on the range, as opposed to the cover has got 400. Mm. So we could get some different cannons, which um, which would be uh, which which would be lovely. I've also just realised those aren't the ones that I've got, are they? Because those are saying that these are 24 cannons, which I don't think my ship can actually accommodate. So my attempt to put some new cannons on the ship has failed miserably. Yes, because look, this can only take a 16 caliber uh, 16 caliber. It can't take a 24 caliber, which means I was not comparing apples with apples. I was comparing geraniums with aardvarks. But never mind. You can't. You, I mean, you can blame me for that, and I sincerely hope that you do blame me for that, because maybe then that will shame me into doing it properly next time. Never mind. There's not a lot of point in replacing the cannons anyway, because we're going to get a new ship eventually, whenever I get to level nine. Which is still quite a long time away, but never mind. Let's go to the tavern and get some more crew, and I can tell you about something else stupid that I've realised. Not stupid about the game, stupid about me for not realising this earlier. So, um, I need some, I need some men, yes. So, you see that you see this amount of crew. Now, what I've always been doing at the moment is, um, is just hiring the maximum number of crew. What I haven't realised is that this is completely unnecessary to do. Because your ship has a maximum and a minimum crew, I thought if you had the maximum crew, your ship operates at maximum efficiency with like reload speeds and maneuverability and sort of drawing and lifting the sails. And if you have anything less than that, then your efficiency starts to decrease. That's not the case. It's if your crew goes beyond the minimum level, then it starts to decrease. So all I was doing by having more people was, um, was increasing the price of the salary that I pay. Which is real stupid, because I really only need to have, like, 20 people. But the advantage of having more people, of course, is you can last long in a firefight before everything goes, um... Everything goes, uh, tits up. But never mind. Let's pretend, like, everything is not going disastrously wrong for me today. And we will go to the, um... 
we'll go to the priest and tell him what is up. Then I reckon we have to, um, we actually have to go back to the tavern because we need to go and find Lucas, the son of the Spanish Admiral, who has vanished into thin air. So I really should have done that while he was there earlier, but never mind. We're a third of the way through this episode already and I feel like I've done nothing apart from tell you how utterly stupid I am, but never... What are you doing here? Do not Father Gallant. Oh. From the flock, my hmm. I thought you were Father, um, Father Mischief. Father Mischief of Assistance. Welcome. But, um, why wasn't he here before? I feel like I've been here before when Father Gareth wasn't here. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I need to speak to you. Concerning the business you entrusted me with, what have you managed to find out? Father Gerald is innocent of the crimes he is accused of. Do you have proof of this? I do. These letters appear to smear the priest's reputation, but in fact have been written by his assistant. What a cruel deception. I will resolve this matter immediately. You have done an excellent job in the service of the church, and I am pleased to give you your reward. Please keep visiting me from time to time. I'll be, I'm will i sure I'll need your services again later. Oh. Did I get paid for that? Maybe, but I don't think so. Hmm. I didn't get a. Um, no, I didn't get a reputation increase. Or <laughs> Any work for me? Uh, oh, I'm glad to see you still visit me. Uh, it is a blessing that you are here now. I must have your help. The business is urgent and more complex than it may sound. Perhaps you'll be kind enough to explain what the hell it is you are rambling on about. Some children were abducted from the Dutch colony. Ah, yes. I'm glad that we found another lead on this, because I was a bit worried that this quest had completely dried up. I know something of this, although all I have heard is that the children were loaded upon to a black frigate named the Mephisto, and she vanished in an unknown direction. I didn't know about that. Thank you. Your news may explain some things, but let us get to business. I wish you to deliver a message to the Spanish island and then hand it to... Um, is that the priest? I'm not sure. He's the ranking priest in the Church of Spain, and he will give you further directions as necessary. This seems simple. What makes it complex? The last man who agreed to carry this message was found dead today at the threshold of his home. Well, be glad. My threshold, um, in my home doesn't have a threshold. I should count the doorstep out of my cabin onto the deck, but no mud. All he was able to say with his dying breath was that some men in... Men in red robes armed with daggers. This is the question about the cult. Look, I've only been chasing this for half a week. By half a week, I mean like a half a year. Should be, uh, I, it should seem that someone is willing to kill to make sure that this letter is not delivered. You mean someone may try to kill me as well. I am afraid that is true and I will understand if you refuse. The money is far too good to refuse. A. There's been no discussion of money. B. Should the church really be giving me money? And C. I haven't even been told how much money it is. Never mind. Remember, you must give it to him and only to him and you will find him on the Spanish island. Okay, dokey, I will go and do that and I'll try not to get murdered in the process. Okay, I'm not going to speak to the Redmond Governor because that is going to get me, um, that's going to get me gutted like a fish, so I'm going to stay as far away from him as possible. We're going to go back to the tavern because we need to track down this, um, this Spanish fellow. Fish clan. Oh, I can't remember if I said this before. I've been having a think about what under the sun that random bit of dialogue means. The closest conjugation of English words I can think is that he's saying fish or clam, as if he's, like, offering me hors d'oeuvres. But I can't possibly imagine that's what he's saying. But it's the closest to English I can think of. Uh, a friendly fellow like you is here to interesting rumours. Any rumours? Uh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not interested in rumours. I want to hear about the... Um... I'm looking for a young Spaniard. Perhaps you've seen him. I'm not sure where he went, but it is possible I can tell you why he's gone. Please do. It is vital, I know. Well, the rumour is that the young Spaniard tried to make time with the governor's daughter. I don't know what happened, but he came in here afterwards in the blackest of moods. The very next morning, he and his yacht were gone. No one here has seen him since. The governor's daughter? The man has good taste, doesn't he? I don't know, I've never seen her, but never mind. Any chance I could speak with her? Or does uh, Sealheart watch her too closely? If Sealheart is within a mile of her, I'm, it's, it's dangerous to go near her. You can be sure that he's not watching her. Someone in his pay is doing it for him. Well, he has his reasons, doesn't he? She is a fine-looking girl. She does occasionally take a walk outside the town, but she is always escorted by several guards. The guards shouldn't be a problem. I'm not intending to kidnap her or anything. Absolutely not. Because <laughs> that's what the innocent say, isn't it? It's like saying, I'm just going to pop into the bank. I'm not going to rob it or anything. Just a few questions. Thank you, Charles. As always, you've been a big help. All right, well, at least this will allow us out into the uh, Redmond jungle, even though I have no idea what direction out of the jungle. I'm going to presume uh, out of the, um, 
out of the door by the church. So let's go, uh, let's go running after the, I was gonna say after the Spanish, no, after the Spanish is, after the Spaniards' love interest is what I'm trying to say. And then we will head off to the Spanish island and see if we can uh, deliver this message without getting murdered. It does make, well, make me wonder, actually. Sorry, I saw that skull up there and it scared me for a second. <laughs> for a man who kills skeletons on a weekly basis, I, uh, I did get a bit surprised. Can you see anyone? I don't see anyone. It doesn't say in the quest but what part of the... Uh, what part she is, does she? Recently sailed away somewhere. Da, 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 da. Her name is Arabella. Often walks in the jungle near the town. Isn't that lovely? Can't possibly imagine why you'd want to do this. This place is full of brigands and mosquitoes, but other than that. Hello? Any, uh, any princely princesses over here? I mean, she's not a princess, she's the governor's daughter, which isn't quite as glamorous, but anyhow. Um. I don't see anyone around her. I can't imagine she'd stray that far from town. There must be other exits out of uh, out of here and into the jungle, presumably. But um, we'll wander around for a minute and see if uh, see if we can find her. But um, no, no. The thing I'm wondering about now that we've confirmed that this uh, this quest to do with the missing children from the Dutch island is related to the is related to a cult. It makes me wonder why the. Oh, well, this isn't. This clearly isn't where we're supposed to be. I do have a spot, a pot of money, there, a little bag of money. Let me try to uh, pilfer this. Mm, nobody saw nothing. Also, really stupid place to leave your money because it's just going to get washed away at high tide. But never mind. There's nothing. Um, nothing apart from a choppy frame rate. <clears throat> nothing over here, is there? Anything secret or hidden or sneaky? No, just another pathway out of here. All right, fair enough. Yeah, there must be another rig out of the town somewhere that uh, that we need to find. Assuming that no brigands have spawned while I've been uh, while I've been away. Um, yeah, wh why are the cult interested in stealing children? Because there's sort of two reasons that I can think. Also, why specifically in the Dutch island? I mean, I know they have to pick somewhere to kidnap them from, but um, why specifically the Dutch island? No, are they kidnapping them for some sort of nefarious sacrificial purposes, or are they sort of? Uh, Kidnapping them, sort of raise them as their own, and um, like have a new generation of initiates, perhaps. I don't know. That would be an interesting way of, uh, of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of expanding your group of compadres, I suppose. Finding initiates, that sort of thing, rather than um, rather than putting a notice in the post office. Any psychopathic maniacs living in the local area who would like to wear red robes and stab people with daggers, please inquire within. That would be a slightly weird thing to um, to put in the post office. <laughs> I feel like the postmistress at the local post office that I sometimes go to would um, w wouldn't wouldn't be entertained by, by by such a thing. All right, if I remember correctly, there's an exit just by the yes here we are just by the prison. So if we go through here, we might uh, we might find what we're looking for. I'll tell you something I find interesting, and in that and th and that's that there's no guards outside the gates. Which surprises me a little bit because I remember the French keeping guards outside the gates of Ox Bay. Maybe that was just because it was under siege, but or because they were related to the quest mine. But um, yeah, I'm just slightly surprised that most of the other uh, most of the other islands don't seem to do that. So you'd imagine that would be uh, relatively important for safety because then you'd see when the brigands are coming to invade. But um, kitty, aren't this woman is elusive? I know they say that sometimes she walks outside, and chances are she's not walking outside at this exact moment. But um, this is a video game. You'd hope that they would uh, alleviate that little bit of reality for the sake of uh, for the sake of me finding her sooner rather than later. Because uh, I worry this is going to take far longer than it has got any right to. Hello, anyone there? There's some vicious people, but I don't see any friendly people. Um, at least it's giving us an opportunity to explore the red. Ah, well. <laughs> There's the lady, and there are the gentleman, and here is the pickle. I really should have saved before we got um, anywhere near this. In fact, I'm going to save now if I can remember the uh, the blasted button. I'm going to make two saves because someone told me that the um, the saves in this game are apparently very unreliable, so um, and sometimes get corrupted. So uh, from now on, I'm just going to sort of double up my saves just in case, and also make sure that I've always got the previous save uh, in case um, 
in case it goes wrong. Now, I know there's a load of brigands over there, but I am not associated with those brigands. I am a gentleman. May I speak to the daughter, please? You've got the look of a pirate, you do. For your sake, I'd best be wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, calm down. I promise to be good. Certainly better than the person who forgot to put an apostrophe in your title, but never mind. See that you are very polite to Miss Sealhard. If you take one wrong step, I'll rip your head off. Do I look like such an oaf? I'll be a nice, polite gentleman. Hello. I'm not so much a governor as I am an agent of the monarchy. You aren't a governor. You're a governor's daughter. But never mind. Someone's got uh, dreams above their standing. You must be Miss Sealhard. I am looking for a certain young man, a Spaniard, by the name of Lucas. I am told that you once knew each other. I might know him. Why do you want him? Lucas is an old friend of mine. I have business to discuss with him. Lucas's father has asked me to find his son. His disappearance from his home has worried his family greatly. Ah, yes, he told me of that, but there is no cause for alarm. Lucas told me he was on his way to visit his father. He said he needed to discuss important matters with him. I see. Well, thank you for your help. I'm not wholly sure that I believe such things, but um, um, I must admit that the boy has got some taste. Arabella told me that Lucas has gone to see his father. I must get back to the Admiral. Maybe the boy is already there. Hmm. Somehow I find that a little unlikely, but uh, but never mind. Um, I know that we need to go back to town, and, and I will. I just want to see where this leads, just in case. I imagine this would just lead to another... Um, Pretty bumpy bit of road, isn't it? I, I imagine, yeah, this just leads to another shoreline, but, um... It's a cute-looking one, if nothing else. With nice palm trees and coconuts! Excellent! I like coconut, he says, having never actually eaten a coconut and having only ever, uh, having only ever eaten coconut-flavoured chocolate bars, which I don't think counts, if I'm completely honest. All right, then. Never mind any of that rubbish. Um... Give me a minute and I shall get us back to the ship, because I appreciate that we've spent quite a long time wandering through the jungle and you don't want to get subjected to any more mosquito bites. So, um, yeah, give us a minute and I'll get us back to the, uh, back to the ship. Okie dokie. It struck me that uh, while we were at the shipyard I forgot to mend my ship, so I just did that on the way back. Okie dokie. Now, where are the Spaniards? Here are the Spaniards over here. So, we've got many jobs to do with the Spanish. We need to return the letters. That we that were stolen from the Spanish that we got off the um, the Portuguese smuggler. I also forgot to smuggle the ebony, but never mind. I totally forgot to do that, and I sincerely apologise for getting your hopes up about that. Oh god! Oh god! Oh gosh! I don't want to get in that storm, and I don't want to get involved with the pirates, because I doubt that the pirates are going to be quite as forgivingly stupid as the last set were. I get the distinct impression that we're going to have to uh, anyway. Oh gosh, oh, they're surrounding me. Never mind, they're going to crash into the island, which is incredibly intelligent of them. I'm going to take a slight detour past the Dutch, and then um, then we'll race off back to the Spanish island. There we are. Oh gosh, 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 no. Gosh, no, I'm not interested in none of that. Yeah, you just sit there and make a three-point turn, mate, while I skedaddle. We also need to deliver the letter to the priest from the Redmond uh, priest man, and hopefully not get murdered by a uh, by a crazy person. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What is going on? Oh, good afternoon, sir. Not so fast, senor. You don't think you could avoid us, do you? I'm sorry. How precisely? <laughs> how precisely, may I ask? Did you get me to land wherever it is that we are, rather than me just landing at port? But never mind. Talk about a siren song. I don't think I want to talk to you, do I? Then we'll be forced to kill you. Just try it. I'm going to try and run away a little bit. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. All right. That that really didn't work as well as I planned. Okay. Let me think for a split second for a brain. Okay. I just need to kill these gentlemen. And by gentlemen, I mean vicious men. Gladly they're using uh, daggers, which, if I remember correctly, have no ability to block. So I don't need to worry about them, uh, about them uh, uh, deflecting my ability, my attacks. There we go. Okay, that's the first one down. Then we just gonna deal with these two. Probably don't need to use it yet, but I'm gonna use it just preemptively because if I remember correctly, that the dagger does have a degree of penetration. Um, that's not the right word I meant to use. Piercing. That was the word I was looking for. Not penetration. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> After what I said about the pirates... Oh, they can block. I didn't know they could do that. After what I said about the, um... <laughs> the pirates as well. <laughs> yeah, 
you received a new item. Well, isn't that lovely? Where the hell am I? What's this new item that I've got? <laughs> what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? I got an amulet. An animist amulet. A sinister amulet representing a five-pointed stone. What on earth are you talking about? It's clearly some kind of winged scarab beetle. I don't know. I was having the faintest idea where we are. But, um... The ship's in one piece, which is lovely. I love that none of my crew came to help me, but never mind. Um, let me, uh, let me let the cat in and feed the cat, and then we'll have a quick wander around this island and see if we can figure out where we are, whether we just landed on, like, a shoreline somewhere. Presumably somewhere on the Spanish island, if that's not a uh, ridiculous conclusion to come to. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's have a little wander up this path and, uh, and see where this goes. I like this music. It's very grand. It's very serene, as if you are watching a beautiful sunrise on the back of a golden horse. It's um, singing a sonata, I suppose. Oh goodness, a little bridge! This is very exciting. I like the look of this. I mean, I don't, because it looks very, very wobbly. But um, we should see what happens. I think there's a little cave there as well. Oh goodness, we're going to have an adventure. I do hope that you're ready for one. I have a funny feeling we're going to get murdered if we go in here by a number of skeletons, so you'll forgive me if I make another save. Oh no, we're going to another shoreline? No? No, we're going to a passage. Oh, Alright then, this doesn't look much like a passageway to me, it just looks like a pathway. But, um, okay. I think we are on the main Spanish island, which is kind of a little silly of me not just to get back in my ship and go to the main port, because now we're going to have to traipse through this place again when we want to leave. But we've got so much work that we need to do on, uh, on the Spanish island that uh, perhaps I perhaps I shouldn't be overly fussed. But that's interesting, at least we've seen the men in the spooky red robes, which um, which is nice, because I remember that being a, uh, a very cool and interesting and fun quest. So uh, I'm really glad that that's, uh, that's progressing apace and I haven't completely screwed up everything. I've largely screwed up most things, but I haven't completely screwed up everything, so that's lovely. I'm an idiot, but I'm not thorough. I'm not sure as much of a compliment, but hey ho, at least the church seems to be right there, so uh, so that's convenient. So we'll go to the church first, and we'll speak to him about uh, this letter from the Redmond priest, and then we will carry on with the letters we got from the Dutch smuggler. So let me trot over um, th this way. I'm not entirely sure. Giddy on, this place is like a rat's maze. No offence to Spanish architecture, but sheesh, this place is like a rat's maze. Here we are, this is where I want to be. Yes, indeed. Also, I should emphasise the amazing luck that I had to just stumble upon a double barrel pistol over there in that other house. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but um, it turns out uh, pilfering stuff uh, turned out to be beneficial for me, so isn't that lovely. Sir, I must speak to you. Come for my your forgiveness or your gold, I like that. Oh dear. Um, I was asked to deliver this letter to you. Let me see. Ah yes, it is just as I have thought. You have done well, but let me ask you a couple of questions. Of course, what must you know? Have you had any troubles on your journey? Yes, Father Bernard asked me to land at a secluded bay to try and escape trouble, but they were waiting for me there. Oh, suddenly it makes sense. If only Father Bernard had actually said that to me instead of communi communicating it to Nathan with psychic brainwaves. Never mind. Speak plainly in my house. You are suggesting that I am suggesting nothing. I don't want to accuse anyone. I just thought you should be aware of this. At the bay, three men in red robes were waiting for me, and they were very interested in this letter. So interested, in fact, I was forced to kill them. I see that Father Bernard was not unwise to give you this mission. There is more, Father. When I searched the bodies of my attackers, I found the strange medallion on the neck of one of them. May I see these medallions? I said it was on one of them, or all of them. Interesting. Let us get back to business. Here is your reward. I have another mission for you, if you are interested, and the reward will be more generous this time. Thank you. What do you need me to do? A ship will be arriving from Europe soon, carrying some people who are vital to our cause. I have every reason to believe the ship will be attacked, so your task is to meet in the Ox Bay, and escort it to our port. Tell me the ship's name and I shall do all that I can. It is a bark. Oh good, that's the most defendable ship in the entirety of the universe and not an easily sunk dinghy. Oh dear, under the command of a Spanish officer. Alright, that should be all the information I need. I will set sail as soon as possible. The quicker I am on my way, the better chance we have for success. 
but before that, I must speak with you about the papers that were stolen to you. Perfect, please give them to me right away. Not so fast. No, no, just give them to him. You have done a fine job for the good of the church, my son, and you will be rewarded. What of the library? May I go in there? Oh, yes, I had forgotten of that. Of course, you may go in. It is strange, though. You are, yes, I'm not surprised who the second person. An item is removed from your inventory. Okay, that was probably the letters that I got, wasn't it? I presume I've still got my uh, my amulet. I didn't give that away, did I? Because it's a rather cool looking thing. Um, yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. So we've got all the various letters and stuff, which at least cleans out my inventory a bit. All right. Have I been into the library already, or um, or not? I went to the library and pretty quickly found the book I needed. It was on the table. Unfortunately, someone had torn pages out of it. I think that someone was Danielle. How did she get in exactly? How did she get in faster than I did? Apart from all of the detours that I took. All I know is that some clay tablets with strange characters were found in Oxbay's mines. Oh, great. I suspect the original details of the legend were written on these tablets. I am unsure. I am sure that Danielle is already on Oxbay. That is not a moment to lose! Convenient that everything needs to take me to the same place at once. Like, uh, do you mind? You've got food in your bowl. Stop being mischievous. And more specifically, stop being noisy. But, um... Let's go and see if, uh, if if Lucas has turned up, in which case it'll be the easiest 10 grand I've ever earned. All I had to do was sit on my bum for a minute and wait for him to turn up. I wish all missing person cases were that easy to solve. Let me see if uh, if the Admiral is, uh, is, is happy about life. Ah, Captain, right on time. I've news about your son, Admiral. Pardon the interruption, but time is short. Here is 3,000 gold for your trouble. Now listen carefully. I have been informed that Lucas has been captured by pirates. They demand a ransom of 20,000 gold pieces. What do you intend to do? I am going to pay the ransom, of course. Lucas is worth more to me than my gold. He is my son. Please deliver the money to the pirates and bring my son here unarmed. You will receive the 10,000 I gold I promised for you. Bib. Please, I'm trying to make a video. I adore you with all my heart, and you've been my best friend for a decade, but would you kindly hush? Right, tertiary jump cut. Right, turns out the cat didn't want to be fed, she wanted to go back out the window. Never mind. Um, where must I take the ransom? To the French island, one of the pirates will be waiting for you in the tavern there. I will show you a special sign that I was given so he will be sure to recognise you. And remember, if the pirates don't get the ransom within a month, they will kill Lucas. Don't worry, your son will be here soon. Giddy up. Well, that's going to delay us from chasing down Danielle. No wonder Danielle is always one step ahead, because I'm always far too busy dealing with the Spanish. Alrighty then. Um... I suppose we do kind of need to go to the French island first, because I have a funny feeling the the, uh... The main quest line is going to get a little busy, as it were. But the first thing I want to do is quickly go to the shipyard and just make sure that you don't have a car uh, Corvette for sale, do you? Uh, Captain, your ship. Oh, sh sh she needs repairs, no? Not really. I just, mm, yeah, I just want the Corvette for crying out loud. Why does no one seem to sell one? I have to pilfer one at this rate, which isn't going to go tremendously well. Um, why can't I go to port? Oh. It won't, it won't take me to port because I don't need to go to port. I need to go to the, um, I have no idea where I need to go. I need to go back to the, um, the little secluded bay where I left my ship, don't I? So that we can then go to the French island. Um, this episode is going to be littered with jump cuts, and I'm so sorry about that. My editing style on average is, um, is no jump cuts and no editing whatsoever, just, uh, just completely, uh, raw footage, which is, uh, the way I much prefer to do it. But um, it hasn't quite panned out that way this week, so I sincerely apologise. So um, I'll get us back to the. I'll get us back to the ship, and then, then some rather disinterested uh, thieves will attempt to, uh, to attempt to murder me, and will not succeed tremendously well. Do you know any companies that, like, install cat flaps in windows? Because my giddy aunt could I make jolly good use of one. Let me get back to the ship, then we'll go to the Spanish island and deal with Lucas first, because that is on a time constraint, and then we'll go to Ox Bay and we'll handle everything else that needs doing. <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm just a little hesitant to carry on with the main quest line. Um overly quickly, because you know what main quest lines in video games are, are, are like, where they kind of lock you into... Um, I'm sorry, what was that? There's something else. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a potion. A healing elixir. Excellent. I can pour that down my lug holes and mend my brain up a bit so that it's not quite so brokenly stupid. 
Somehow I doubt it. I think you'd need an awful lot more than a red potion in order to do that. You need a hell of a lot of education, a lot of slaps in order to teach me simple right from wrong. But, um... The bridge. The spooky bridge. Is that a holdover from the men who were trying to attack me earlier? Or is that, um... Is that actually something I need to be fussed about? I don't know, but the creakiness of this bridge is not filling me with confidence. Oh my giddy aunt, they've respawned! This is surprising, but never mind. All three of them have respawned, or just this fellow? Well, there's another one. At least they make good use of my uh, double shot pistol, which is lovely. How bizarre. Are they meant to respawn, or is that a bug? I don't have any memory of them respawning. Mind you, I don't have any memory of them accosting me in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the here before. No, only two of them spawned. How weird. That makes me think that it's not a, um, a bug that they've respawned back then, because then surely all three of them would respawn instead of just two of them. Hmm. Never mind. Oh well. Another pair bites of dust, which sure they do. So, um, where actually are we at the moment? Oh, we're all the way over here. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to the French Island first. In fact, the French Island is kind of kind of in the complete wrong direction from Oxbow. No matter, no matter. We'll go to the French Island. I really should have saved. I keep forgetting to do that. Particularly since people say that this game crashes a lot, at least that forum uh, that I was reading about, that Pirates Ahoy forum, said that the game crashed a lot. So uh, it was it was wise to make uh, regular saves, but never mind. We probably should do this at night, so uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to attempt to do it tonight for the sake of sneakiness. Let me go to um, let me go to the port. Yes, and more. I think this is actually the first time I've properly moored here, because I normally have to uh, hide in the bay, because I'm normally at war with the French. But never mind. Um, it's funny, why is that one fellow out here? Normally everyone's away this time of night. Um, are you special or important for some reason? I mean, I'm sure your mother thinks you're very special, but um, do I think you're special? I'm talking to Monsieur Boone. You'll just have to wait. Ah, I remember a Monsieur Boone. I believe he was the man who was commanding the bark that became my second ship. Lucas's kidnappers demanded the ransom be brought to this tavern, but they don't seem to be here themselves. Ah, those two at the bar seem to be waiting for somebody. No need to waste time, they're probably the ones I need. Maybe I should eavesdrop in their conversation first. Mm, we'll give it a try. Ing in this hole for two weeks already and there's still no gold, I told you that the old man will surely pay us. He will pay, he definitely will, but to gather so much gold is not surely a quick thing to do. You'd imagine an admiral could get it together relatively quickly. What if he doesn't give a devil spit about his damn son? What if instead of gold, a galleon of bloodthirsty Spaniards comes here? I don't know what Spanish and French relationships are at the moment, but I doubt that they're overly positive. Enough already. Have you seen a father who would abandon his son in a situation like this? Don't worry, the Admiral will pay the ransom. He doesn't have a choice. I've heard enough. These are the ones that I need. Show them the sign. I don't know what it is. Some sort of... Some sort of, um, some sort of spooky thing like that, one presumes. Here comes our gold now! Come with me. We won't go far. Let me just follow you along with my little wheelbarrow. <laughs> it's a lot of gold to be carrying around. I don't think I can fit that in my trousers. Where are we going then? Oh, we're going over here. Oh gosh, I vaguely remember this house. Um, didn't it say like a kidnapper's hideout if you go inside the second floor or something? Always Wait here and I'll bring the uh, prison out. Just be quick about it. Can I steal anything while I'm here? Shh. No, I can't because I have nothing to steal. Alright, fine. Sit here and have a mug of ale or something, I suppose. A bowl of chowder or whatever in the sun that is. Goodness, that looks um, most unpleasant. Mmm, you look my, like my surrogate captain. Oh, no, you, you look like a thief. You look like a, 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 a brigand. Would you get out of kissing distance, mate? You, um, we, we, we need to get our business done. Cash and carry, this is the way we do our business here. Here's your gold, funny man. Wouldn't it be a chuckle if I kept the gold for myself and butchered you and your friends like the pigs you are? Oh, I kind of want to do that. And I don't think I'd lose any reputation for it, but I really don't want him to die. They might have more friends upstairs. Oh, gosh. The Spanish Admiral said that he was willing to pay the ransom and we're going to pretend like this isn't a sign of me being a coward and instead this is a sign of, uh... This is a sign of, um... Of, uh... uh of me being obedient to my commanding officer. Here's your gold, funny man. Now leave. Awfully nice to deal with you. I'll be awfully glad if you'd leave. Oh. 
weird. Is this my house now? That's lovely. Of course, mi amigo. What can I help you with? You can help me by not getting captured by any more bleeding pirates, you dingbat. <sighs> Why did you save me? Let's talk about this outside of this house. I can't, I'm not allowed to go upstairs, am I? But I just do want to check if it said kidnappers hideout. Kidnappers hideout second floor. Ooh. Well, there's no one here, but there's anything to steal. Make up for all the money I just lost. Hooray! So all this grandiose music it keeps playing. Never mind. Let's um, let's get the hell out of here before we get murdered. <laughs> of course, mi amigo. What can I help you with? Who who are you anyway? I am Captain Nathan Hawke. Your father was rather concerned about your disappearance, and he sent me to find you. I see. I was on my way to see him when I ran into the trouble you've just rescued me from. I owe you my life. Don't thank me. I was well paid for my efforts. Nevertheless, you have saved me, and I am grateful. Perhaps now we shall go to see my father. Indeed. Let us waste no more time. <laughs> Oh, hooray, okay. He's just gonna stand there and wait. In the meantime, I'm gonna have a look at his sword. It looks rather exciting, but it's a difficult to see for his, um, his cuff is in the way. But never mind. Hmm. Interesting looking sword. But, um, no way for uh, for me to pull for it. Now, where under the sun am I going? Down here? I think? Maybe? Possibly. It's a little bit weird to be here amongst all these French souls and not feel like I'm about to get murdered. A nice feeling, but a slightly unusual one that I'm going to have to get used to. Right. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm not sure how long we've been going. I think we've got about 50 minutes so far, so, um... Should we race back to the, um... To the Spaniards with, uh, with this, with this fellow? I feel like that's not wholly necessary. Because we do need to escort that ship from Ox Bay. But then if we go to Ox Bay, we really ought to deal with Danielle in the mines as well. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, what I want to do is look at my passenger list and see if he's where. Let's see if he's there. No, no, he's not there. Interesting. All right. That's um, weird. You'd imagine that he'd be there. Never mind. Um, yes, the bark near Ox Bay and guide it to the Spanish Islands. I highly doubt that that's going to go uh, tremendously well. But I'm going to try anyway. So we'll go to Ox Bay and we'll try to escort the... Um, where the hell am I going? I'm going the wrong way. That should surprise none of you. <laughs> Can I get away from these pirates? Yes, they don't seem interested in me. Excellent. I'm glad I'm too small of a fish for them to bother frying. Oh goodness, we left the French Island right on time, didn't we? Just before the dreadful weather arrived. Um, we're still going the wrong way. Giddy ass. I'll blame it on a slightly bent compass. <laughs> Never mind. Um... Yeah, I think we'll deal with this and we'll leave the main quest line for um, for next week, because I reckon it's getting uh, vaguely serious. I do remember hearing rumours about the Oxbay Mines, however, right at the beginning of the game. We heard something about something being discovered in uh, in the Oxbay Mines. We probably shouldn't arrive in the middle of the night, but never mind. Quest, quest book updated. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What is going on? Hola, Captain. So good to see you. You're the captain we've been warned about. Warned? Why did you just... Hang on, I'm here to protect you. You shouldn't need a warning about me. Um, I like that I managed to sit in there dancing in the uh, dancing in the corner. Look, I'm just here to escort you back to the Spanish island so that we can all get paid and get home to our wives and children without dying. I had to put a passenger ashore. I've got orders too, you see. I wasn't told anything about that, but fair enough, it is your business, not mine. That is right, senor. We each have our own duties and we needn't discuss them. May we depart now. I would like you to get... I would like you to get your ship to safety as soon as possible. Nothing's holding me here now. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Good. Plus, I really don't want to go in the mines with him. Because I feel like he's going to die. And that would be a, that would be an absolute disaster. Alright, let me save the game again. <laughs> and again, just in case. I'm run out of save slots at this rate. Okay, here's the bark. Yeah, okay. So we just need to get to the Spanish island without... Um, without getting sunk. <laughs> and if necessary, we load the game enough times in order that we, uh, that we get there. Okay, I'm starting to remember the order of the, um, the order of the things now. Let me just sail through the middle of this battle. Excuse me, gentlemen. There we go. Oh, hang on, I, I, saw, I saw a storm bring me. It's off to the right. <laughs> and by the right, I mean the left. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'll tell you a little detail I really like about these, uh, I really like about these battles. Depending on sort of where you physically are in relation to those little ships, that actually dictates where you spawn in the battle. Because if you sail right in between the two of them, and then come off this map into the sort of sea view, then you will, um, you will actually appear 
in between the ships. Versus if you battle with who? They're French. Battle with the French? We like the French. The French are nice. The French are friendly. There's nothing to worry about, so the French ship's in really terrible condition. I don't mind. I don't mind. The French are our friends, and by the sounds of it, they need some charity. <laughs> Never mind the French and their failing frigates. Let's, um. Ooh. I spy with my little eye something worth pilfering. A small healing potion of this, I am glad. But, um. That was bizarre. Bizarre that it said battle. I because it says battle when you go into, when you spawn near ships that are hostile, but I didn't think it said uh, battle if you just spawn near some friendly ships. So, um, that surprised me a little bit. Hmm. Never mind. But yes, so, um, yes, uh, by picking where where you begin, the where you join the conflict in the um, on the world map, you can put yourself at quite a significant advantage. You can put yourself on the far side of the Allies, if you like, if you want to assess the situation before you begin battle, or you can put yourself right down in the middle of the pirate ships if you're uh, if you are ready to uh, leap into battle post haste. So um, I like that it's sort of detail that the game didn't need to have, but that it did have, and I'm grateful for. Oh dear. Captain, your help has been priceless. I will never forget it. I am just pleased that everything turned out well and everyone's still alive. I am happy to give you your 10,000 gold, Captain. You have certainly earned it. I wish you luck. Hooray! Of course, mi amigo. What can I help you with? Oh, goodness. Um, I have no words to express my gratitude. Perhaps you will let me serve as part of your crew. I am not a bad swordsman and I know my way around a ship. And a woman, it would seem, but never mind. I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't catch that, but I get the distinct impression it was rather insulting. There's always room on my ship for an able-bodied man, particularly a loyal one. Welcome to the crew. Ah, so we got an officer. That's nice. Um, I don't know what sort of officer he is, but he's dreadfully unlucky. I mean, I could have told you that, but never mind. All right, that's good. I was thinking that we should get some more officers at some point, but um, I'm not sure precisely uh, precisely what he'd be good at. So sort of this guy, who I think is a navigator, is good at... Um, Defense and and sailing, so that makes sense. Versus this guy's more of like a, a hand-to-hand combat guy. Hmm, interesting. Because I know that your officers can improve your own skills if you have them in your in your following, which would probably be wise for me to do that. But I can't. I was going to say I can't afford for them to die in combat. I kind of can because I'm kind of dripping in money at the moment without the faintest idea. Of, I'm level nine. We can get a combat. I'm a happy bunny. Right then. Ow, I kind of cracked my ring on my knuckle there, and that really... I'm a hero! I feel most dreadfully proud of myself. Oh, goodness, I do hope that you're as proud of me as I am myself. Ahem, I do sincerely apologise for acting like a total nitwit. What the hell should we get as an upgrade, then? I'm feeling like we should go for accuracy. Hmm, maybe cannons, because accuracy obviously makes the cannons more accurate, and cannons means that they fire a bit faster. So, um... I think they have better range as well. I'm going to go for sailing. Uh, let's go for one on accuracy and then one on cannons. So uh, that's pretty good as well. And I'm going to get the professional gunman skill so that we can have our quad barrel pistol. Won't that be fun? We can shoot people in the face four times, which is slightly ridiculous, but never mind. Oh, look at that. It's like a little hand cannon. And it's going to take forever to reload, but never mind. All right, let's go to the... Um, to the churchman and tell him that we have escorted the ship very safely. And then we'll go see if we can buy a corvette. I must speak with you. I have carried out your assignment. The ship you asked me to escort is safely docked to port. You have done well, my son. Did your voyage go smoothly? Not entirely. When I finally met the bark, it had been attacked by two pirate ships bent on sinking it at all costs. When the hell did that happen? I feel like I'm not involved in the entirety of this game, but never mind. I see. Anything else? There was another thing. The ship's captain sent down a passenger at Oxbay. Yes, I know about that. In fact, that was the point of the whole venture. The arrival of this man in the archipelago is extremely important to the church. I believe you will meet him someday. Interesting. A bit of foreshadowing there. Now, allow me to give you a reward and propose to you a new mission. Oh, thank you. I don't see how this is still relative to the, um... Alright. I did have another letter. I don't know what... I didn't expect to be turned into a postman, but never mind. Um... I can still hear that woman singing. I'm not a massive f f f f f f fan of, f f f of opera. I don't think you'll be going anywhere. Now give us the letter you're carrying. Maybe we could just drink a mug of ale and be on our way? Stop fooling around. I'm going to count to three. Give us the letter or else. Three! 
ha 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 ha, I've run away from you, I'm gonna try and find some guards to help me. <laughs> I mean, there's no way I can't kill these two, but um, I don't want to chance it. In fact, I might get in this little bit here, this looks like a nice safe bit to stand in. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, in fact, this isn't a dreadfully safe place to be because the camera doesn't work very well. Yeah, I just want to get like one of them at a time. Then I can, uh, then I can, no, do not move the camera like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I need to dodge back. Problem is, is when you hit in this game, you, um, there we go. Oh, no, don't have both. Oh, no. <laughs> Talk about backing myself in a corner. I need to, um, I need to, I need to be careful because when you strike, you dodge forward a tiny bit, which isn't what I want. Because uh, 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 the, then the camera thinks I'm trying to go through the door and it gets confused at what's going on. You die, man. Thank you very much. Kitty on you bearded. You bearded bozos. You blood red bearded bozos. Crying out loud. Man, alive. I barely got away from those fanatics and the guards helped so much. This business is turning out to be hotter than I thought. My giddy aunt. <laughs> it's going to engage in a bit of. Buying and selling, that always calms me down a tad. What a very intense mission. I understand why I remember this mission so fondly now. It's rather exciting. <laughs> you never know when you're going to be pounced upon by a couple of... A couple of buccaneers. Alright, let's see these other few odds and ends that we've got. There we are. I don't guess now that we're level 9 we've got anything else. Um, anything else available? Ooh. That's a pretty looking, so, uh, pretty looking shot. Oh, I really like that. This pistol is a true work of art. Serious stopping power, fast reload, excellent range, and accuracy makes it a weighty argument in a quarrel. Oh my giddy aunt, that is an awesome gun, actually. I kind of really want that. But I kind of really want my quad battle pistol as well. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll buy one. I'll buy one because we've got more than enough money, and uh, this way I can um, I can pick what I want to have. Because in situations like I was going to say, in like situations like boarding, it's useful to have multiple shots because you don't have to wait for the reload. But then, um, but then on the other hand, so much damage and accuracy would be really, really good for um, for really finishing people off really quickly. Again, don't take that line out of context, which again is important when you're um, when you're boarding ships. Okay, we just need to deliver the letter, the letter to, um, yes, the strange looking people that we met on the shoreline. They didn't believe me that I would give them the letter, so they drew their weapons. I didn't tell them I was going to give them the letter for crying out loud. I just wanted to murder them. But, um, never mind. There's not a moment to lose, which means we're going to sail all around the archipelago, getting every other job in the world done first. Never mind, I want to go and buy a Corvette. They probably won't have a Corvette, but they might have one at uh, Redmond. Oh, would you shut up about your Spanish bad Gallion. chest? Eh? Hey, you got a frigate. I don't want a frigate. I want a Corvette because a Corvette's faster. <sighs> I mean, that is a that is a damn sight better than mine. Look at it. Although, yeah, it's less maneuverable. It's a good bit faster, much stronger hull. But a hull, the bigger cannons, twice as many cannons, big crew. No, I've got my heart set on a Corvette. I will not be happy until I've had a Corvette. Okay, you haven't got anything on steel, do you? That's not a rude question to ask a man who's complaining about his bad chest. Oh, you do have something I can steal. I like stealing things. No, you don't have something I can steal. I like stealing things and you didn't let me indulge. I don't like that man. He's grumpy and he moans about everything. And he doesn't even have anything worth pilfering. Never mind. I know we've been going for a um, for a while already, and we are running a bit over time, but um, I kind of just want to get back to Redmond uh, just to see if they've got a call there. <laughs> I really shouldn't, but we've waited so long to get to level nine. I just want to save before we leave, just 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 to be on the safe. Can I more? No, apparently I can't, because I'm all the way out here for some bloody reason. It's better. Let me just save. Let me just save, just in case. Um. I'll make it. I'll make another clean save just in case, because I want to have those older backup saves there just in case uh, any of them get damaged. Okay, to Redmond we go with another letter, because apparently that's my job at the moment, just delivering letters to people. Because the thing about having the Corvette is it's going to make it so much easier to board enemy ships. You people are chasing me, aren't you? 
yeah, you people are definitely interested in having a little chase. And I highly doubt there's a storm brewing somewhere. I no, 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 oh my giddy aunt. Ouch. Well, I'm being struck by lightning? Since when could that happen? Oh, for crying out loud, thousands of thundering typhoons. This is not what I anticipated. Oh, my giddy aunt. How can we be on fire? It's raining. How can we be on fire when it's raining? We might... I was trying to stop in order to get away from the pirates. I didn't mean to stop in the middle of the bleeding storm. Oh, for crying out loud. If this sinks me, I am going to be... Look like such an idiot. I mean, I already look like an idiot, but that isn't the point. My giddy on my ship is in tatters. Can I escape, or am I just going to get sunk? No, I get the distinct impression I am going to get sunk. Cool music, but not a lot of cool stuff is actually happening. We're just getting bashed around the face by Mother Nature. Right, thank you. Can I go to Redmond now? No, because we're pointing the wrong way. Oh my giddy aunt. Yes, what's left of the crew can have their bleed money. What, what is left of my money? I got blown away in the sea. <sighs> I mean, I love this guy. I, I, I adore this game because it always throws something at me that I don't expect. I expected that. But, um... I don't know, it always catches me off guard, it always has something new to throw at you, and, uh, and, and, I, and I love it for that. And it feels like very realistic in the sense that that's the sort of thing that would actually happen to a sea captain. But, um, how much of the crew did we lose, by the way? Not many, actually, most of the crew survived without any problem, but the uh, hull has got more holes in it than a load of Swiss cheese. Never mind. Right. A, do you have a corvette? B, if you don't have a Corvette, how much are you going to charge me for 95% of a new whatever under the sun you call my ship? Our chain shot can rip the mast off a galleon at a hundred yards! <sighs> this right, we're not going to have enough money to buy a Corvette. I just want a Corvette, this is how much as you ask. Apparently the answer to that question is yes, because I'm totally dreadful in this game. <laughs> Strikes me, I don't think we've ever been down this route um, before, which could be um, could be interesting to explore. Oh, this comes out the other side of the churchyard. Oh, the things you learn. Never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's deliver this letter and then we'll stop it for this week. And then next week we'll try and find a uh, we'll try and find a Corvette and we'll go to Oxbow and we'll go into the mines and we'll do all the other stuff that we need to do. And I'll try to decide Welcome, what pistol I'm going to stick with. What can I help you? With? The path of piracy leads only to damnation. I need to speak to you about a letter. Ah, I was wondering if uh, you if 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 you had managed to send it. What do you mean? Of course, you probably don't know yet, but the man who gave you this letter was kidnapped. I am afraid my worst fears have come to pass. What do you mean? Several years ago, a animist lair, I think you mean an animist lair, I also have no idea what an animist is, but never mind, was destroyed in Italy. Unfortunately, the head of their order managed to escape. He, what you, what I need, mate, is for you to be quiet for five minutes. Right. <laughs> he managed to escape. He said, everything you need. If this weren't a church and you weren't a man of the cloth, I would tear the cloth off you and shove it down your throat to make you shut up. He settled here in the archipelago. Now, judging by the disappearance of the children and of a ranking priest, he is active again and tends to conduct a certain ancient ritual. Oh, it is the sacrifice -y type. We must stop him. My part in this? I need you to serve as the swift sword, acting out his vengeance. I understand you are a man of business, and as such I offer you 15,000 gold, most of which I donated to you a few weeks ago, but never mind for your services to the church. That's not a bad deal. What do you want? Do Die, pathetic worms! You shan't defeat us this time! The Prince of Darkness will triumph! What devil is this traitory? I, I was going to say, I'm going to say... These guys do not let up. Right. You know what? Remember what I said about this quest being really intense and stuff constantly happening? Yes, I repeat my previous statement. You die, man. Thank you for crying out loud. I mean, I understand he's a man of the cloth, but if he could help by, like, hitting them with a pew or something, that would be lovely. 
Okay, well that that at least explains why his assistant suddenly turned up as soon as we started doing this quest, if nothing else. Right. How are you feeling? <laughs> you don't even care, do you? Ugh, who would have thought that Father Gareth could serve the Prince of Darkness? Who could have thought? Now I know who is to blame for my recent troubles. It is he who reported my movement to these monks. They're not monks. Monks rub their heads with pumice stones and, and, and sit and do prayers and things. These people run around with daggers and try to stab me. They're not monks. They're meanies. Monks? They are no monks. Thank you. I'm glad we're in agreement about something, as you say, Father, but they all wear the robes of a monk. Yes, of course, but first we must find the lair of these devils. I think it would be wise for you to travel to the Spanish island and ask some questions there. There's something else. I'd like you to introduce you to someone. Who is it this time and do they want to murder me? Who the hell are you? Si, Greetings, I've heard a lot about you, and in fact your help was greatly appreciated. Oh, you're the bloke who was dropped off at Oxbite, weren't you? Which begs the question why you weren't dropped off at Redmond, but never mind. Exactly, sir. You were a great help to us then. If not for you, I suppose I would be in some fish's stomach by now. Isn't that a lovely thought? Unless I am mistaken, you are the mysterious passenger that landed in Greenford's port, correct? Ah, I understand what you mean. Yes, sir, that is I. Maybe then you'll tell me your name and how you are connected to these recent events. Of course, my name is unpronounceable by an Englishman like me. I am a Maltese knight. Maltese? Where I come from, Maltese or Maltese is the name of a um, name of a type of chocolate, but never mind. Maybe it's a place. Uh, a few years ago, I took part in destroying a cult in Italy, and now you've come here to finish the job. Exactly, and if you don't mind, I'll what is it with all these Spaniards who want to join my crew? All right, fair enough. Believe me, I shan't be useless. You know the face of the enemy, and I am sure that you can fight. I see no reason to refuse you. You will not regret this, Captain. Where would you have me follow you first? To the Spanish island. We have additional information there. Oh, what sort of sword does he have? I don't know. I don't recognize it. He doesn't have a pistol, though. I've got one he could borrow if he wants, but I'd highly doubt that he does. Oh, my giddy old. What an intense week. And what a week for it to be boiling hot. Never mind. Okay, so never mind the main quest line. All we did was deliver a letter regarding the main quest line, and we let Danielle to carry on with her business for about six weeks. But never mind. Um, we sorted out the uh, we sorted out the missing Spanish son, and we got him recruited onto our uh, cruise. Isn't that lovely? Is that fellow been added as a passenger? Yes, indeed. Goodness, he looks highly miffed, doesn't he? Man alive! It looks like I've just insulted his wife. And he's uh, he's a hell of a swordsman. And, uh, and not a great deal else. Okay then, so um, yeah, he might be quite useful to have uh, when uh, when we go to battle. But um, yeah, I'm really glad that we're progressing with this um, with this quest line because I was actually really worried when uh, when we ran out of uh, ran out of leads on the pirate island after chasing the Mephisto. Because in the intervening period between this week and last week, I actually went back to the save that I made um, before the start of the last episode in order to check around the pirate island a little bit more frequently, a little bit more thoroughly, I should say, in order to make sure that I hadn't um, I hadn't left any uh, any anything behind. And uh, I, I asked literally everybody I could find, and no one seemed to have any information. So uh, I'm glad that we didn't um, we didn't we didn't screw here, anything up. You still don't have a call, don't you? Never mind. We'll get a Corvette next week. At least we're ready for a Corvette now, which is lovely. And um, and we can also decide what to do with this new pistol. Because on the one hand, I don't want to waste this upgrade by not using the the quadruple the quad the quad the quad barreled pistol. But regardless of that, the the reloading and aiming skill improvements will be really useful for that other pistol anyway. So um, so that would be good. I mean, how does it compare with my um? my quad barrel pistol. So this does 35 to 45 damage. So that's like double the damage. And that's... See, that's 24 seconds. Is that 24 seconds per bullet or 24 seconds in total? I don't know. And its accuracy is 50% compared to that, which is an accuracy of 70%. I mean... And it's such a beautiful weapon. I mean, look at it. It looks like it was crafted by a master. Oh, I don't know. I'll try to decide between now and next week, and then we can um, then we can try. Or maybe we'll just equip it and have a little go with it and see what it's like. Um, 
But yes, at least we've got uh, plenty of things to do. We can finally get the Corvette and I can spend between now and next week thinking of what we should name it. For it clearly needs a new name now that we've stuck with the HMS Rapid for so very long. Mind you, the HMS Rapid is vaguely rapid. Certainly a lot more rapid than the last ship was. So, um... So, um... I was going to talk to that man, but I've realised it's completely pointless because there's no point in asking anyone for any information because they're all just telling me about this mysterious merchant that's been locked up by the Roman governor that I can't find anywhere. But never mind, none of that matters. It's all a load of silliness. So, that's enough silliness for one week. I, um, I apologise if that was rather intense, but um, it was very exciting and, uh, and, and I'm glad that we are about to cut the head off the snake as it is. With this, uh, with this cult, because um, I reckon that is going to be good fun. And then we'll go back to Ox Bay, and we will uh, track down Danielle in the mines and see what's going on there. So um, yeah, that was good fun. I really hope that you enjoyed that. I really do love playing this game. So uh, thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other, and good night. <laughs>